Because why not, you know? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunburned Albino Reveals All of His Celebrity Crushes. People are going to like this. Or they won't, in which case, I've already done it, so it's not going to go away. Everybody's got celebrity crushes. You see people in movies or TV shows or on stage or on the internet, and you love the idea of them and would totally not refuse emotional and physical attachment were it ever somehow offered to you, regardless of whether you're in a committed relationship with some basic-ass normal person already. I have me a few of those, and here they are in no particular order. Let's go. Let's start with an obscure one. With only one TV appearance that I am aware of, to call her a celebrity is a bit of a stretch. Actually, it's a giant stretch because even I am logistically probably equally famous. I was on an episode of At Midnight, after all. I mean, not as a panelist, but still. And I am not famous in the slightest. But regardless of spotlight time, it does not change the fact that Sierra Coteau is terrific. Sierra Coteau is a comedian who was a contestant in the most recent season of Last Comic Standing who did not make it near as far as she should have. She's an Asian-American college student at Harvard University University, which makes her better than all of us. Her YouTube channel is relatively unmanned, but it's in my featured channels list regardless, as it is susceptible to the occasional upload of her very funny stand-up. My type has a very specific section for beautiful Americanized Asian girls with a sense of humor. I like when all the boxes get checked. Next up is Chloe Grace Moretz. I've had a crush on her since before it was socially and legally acceptable. She's 19 now. She's been acting most of her life, but the majority of people will probably recognize her from the Kick-Ass movies, and most recently Neighbors 2, as well as If I Stay, The Fifth Wave, and other movies that have her on-screen kissing dudes that are much older than her, which may or may not embolden me as a 22-year-old. She might be a bit more political than I care for, actively campaigning for Hillary Clinton, but you can't fault her for using her platform to push her passions onto her multi-million followers. People who can affect change with their prestige to benefit themselves should do so. She also plays video games. Grace Helbig. She is a YouTube star, comedic actress, and so pretty. Her personality is uniquely endearing and her slots on At Midnight showcase an almost trembly, hesitant, yet overtly bubbly sort of comedic style. For me, she's one of those people where it's less about pinpointing specific traits or reasons that I like her. It's just an all-around glowing aura of niceness. Super cool person for sure. We need more like her. Or maybe she's enough. Also, her hair is diabolical. Jamie Chung. Great actress, stunningly Asian, just a straight-up knockout on all fronts. I assume I don't need to explain any further. All right, those were the main ones, but I have a list of smaller-scale affections I'm just going to breeze through because they deserve to be known. Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live and Ghostbusters, who was unfortunately lesbian. Ivana Lynch, specifically in her role as Luna Lovegood on Harry Potter. Emily Browning from Sucker Punch, which is a damn good movie, fuck the haters. And there's always more that you forget until you see him again. Well, that's going to do it for this video. The point of it is hazy at best, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.